Right, so today I'm going to show you a little system from the HQ passive position. So this is great if you've, uh, if you're new to this position. It's just three simple passes um, that you can link together. We might do a bonus one as well. Yeah. So um, Jake's going to demonstrate. So aim is on the back. And Jake's going to step into the HQ position. So he's going to step in and try and knock Amy's hips to the side. He's sat on the butterfly hook. Okay. I'll get in the, I'll get in the shot as well. <laughs> so he's, he's sat on the butterfly hook here. He's in this middle position. Now we're going to work three passes and the pass depends on um, her leg position that's on the inside. Okay? So for the first one, we're going to do the knee cut. So for the knee cut, this is when you're able to knock the leg to the outside. Jake's going to put his hand on the mat and then he's going to knee cut to the opposite side of this and then he can finish the pass. Okay, so again that's the first one. Yeah, so again he steps into HQ. So he's not to hips to this side. If he's able to open that knee, he can then switch sides and hit that knee cut finish. Okay, so that's number one. So number two, he's going to hit the HQ position again. So sometimes when you hit that hit that position if the knee is pointing across so her hips are facing me and knees facing me and he's struggling to get her knee to the outside he can now hit a smash pass so watch what he does he's going to sprawl onto her leg he's going to cross face nice and high he's going to open the gap under her arm he's going to put the knee in and step into the mat okay so that's the smash pass variation Okay, so again, he's going to go HQ. Okay, and knees across, so the knee cut isn't really there. So he's going to scroll heavy on that top leg. He's going to cross face, make the space so he can get his knee inside. Okay, once his knee's inside, now he can step over and take the mount. So that would be the second variation. The third one is going to be the hip switch. So when he enters HQ, Aim his leg sort of in the middle now, okay? So when he's in the middle, he's going to post his hands on the mat, and he's just going to switch his hips, brings his knee inside, switches to the side, okay? Again, so he enters to HQ. The leg's in the middle, okay? Think of the knee like a rudder, okay? When that rudder's in the middle, he posts his hands on the mat, he's going to weave his knee inside, and switch his hips, and he's going to get the pass or end up in a leg drag position. So that's our three, our three passes, and it all depends on the bottom player's knee position. Switch over, Amy do the guillotine one. Bonus move, bonus move. So this time Amy's going to enter into HQ. So when she enters, she's going to pin the wrist. Oh, she's doing her other side now. She's going to pin the wrist on the side where she's stapling the leg down. From there, she's going to reach with her arm over his head, take a chin strap catch the arm as well she's gonna roll over and then roll back into mount get in the pass and possibly a guillotine submission as well this is uh, that one again so she's gonna step into hq so this is just an alternative way to pass i'll get a submission she pins the wrist she reaches over his head grabs the chin rolls over rolls back she's in the mount looks for that guillotine if you don't get the guillotine you're in the mount Okay. It's a nice little uh, system, that's what we drilled this morning, that's from the HQ position, so you've got three passes depending on where the knee is, and then you've got a little guillotine sequence you can use as well, give it a go.